like this has to be fake. There's no way that you're looking at me and telling me a new bill passed by Florida House could ban all black fraternities and sororities on public college campuses due to their association with diversity and inc inclusion and critical race theory. Can anybody tell me what a Q has to do with diversity, inclusion, and critical race theory? <laughs> I'm not saying that they have no history behind them, but does anybody know what these people do? Bro, this is not real. No, like, honestly, I feel like we went down the wrong timeline. And this does sound like something that Florida would do. Like, I just do not believe. I want to see the bill. I want to see the bill. Where's the source? Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Where's the source? Source close, but no, the bill does propose banning colleges from financially supporting programs. Diversity, equity or inclusion or CRT. But there are only concerns about impact on black sororities and fraternities, they are not specifically banning. Okay, okay, it, I knew it. Uh, thank you, thank you. Let's 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 read more. Uh, this was on March. New Florida bill would uh, ban diversity inclusion programs on university campuses. Gosh, man, why are these people so evil? Can somebody please explain to me why these people are so evil? A new Florida bill would uh, ban programs that promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in colleges and university across the state. House Bill nine 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 or the Public post-secondary educational institutions bans colleges from financially supporting any programs or campus activities that expose uh, diversity, equity, or inclusion, or critical race theory rhetoric. The language has led to concerns that black fraternities and sororities will be barred from Florida campuses under the legislation. Wow. State Senator um, Chevron... Uh, Jones told Jasmine Bernie Clark, Clark, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha and founder of the Equal Ground Florida, said in an Instagram live ahead of Monday's debate in the House that the bill is so vague that HBCUs or other institutions, period, who have a black fraternities and sororities on their campuses can practically say we will no longer be supporting you on our campuses based off of this law. Could they stop like basically HBCUs, like not stop them, but could they actually like basically stop their funding? Because of the fact that like they do, I, I believe they receive some type of state funding like genuinely. And that's, this is me genuinely asking because this is so vague that like, that's kind of what that would mean. Florida's house bill uh, passed the bill on Monday and the state Senate will debate the proposed legislation on Wednesday. What? The bill bans courses based on unproven theoretical or exploratory content and majors in women's studies or gen gender studies. It forbids state schools from using diversity, equity, and inclusion statements, critical race theory rhetoric, or other forms of political identity filters as part of the hiring process, including as part of applications for promotion and tenure. The bill does not define critical race theory rhetoric. However, legislation introduced, it seems so vague, introduced by Rep. Alex um, Andrad, whatever, follows a, a GOP agenda in state led by Republican government, uh, Ron DeSantis, to limit discussions on race, gender, identity, and sexuality in schools. So just screw me, right? Like, I, I just don't exist, obviously. Um, though the bill follows DeSantis' uh, agenda to combat the spread of woke, what is with these people thinking that woke is like this like widespread thing? What it, well, I don't get it. Education agendas, however, he has not yet said if he will sign the bill in its current form. During Monday's House debate, Andred uh, was confronted by Gainesville Democrat Rep. Yvonne Henson on how black student unions and even LGBT plus organizations will be affected by the law. Those student groups can continue to operate how they see fit currently, subject only to the policies and procedures that are, con are content neutral to apply to all organizations. Student organizations on campus, on campus Andre um, replied, but on Instagram live event with Jones uh, state rep, my, um, Michelle Rayner, God, what is with these names? 
said uh, that being permitted to, does not guarantee protection for black fraternities and sororities. Wait, what? There are also other ways to um, preclude us, uh, said Rayner. Uh, with our black fraternities and sororities, unlike uh, the ones that are predominantly white, what are what that are privately said, our monies come through student activities and student government associations. This means black sororities and fraternities could be barred from meeting in the student union or even in classrooms on campus under the law, she said. Florida is currently home to four historically black colleges, university, including Florida A&M University member of the divine nine a set of black fraternities and sororities established a hundred years ago spoke out against the proposed law at famu on monday rayner uh said she presented an an amendment to specifically say organizations like the divine nine and other multicultural organizations would not be subject to the law but the republican sponsor was not amendable to it on Monday, two amendments uh, officially filed by Democrats to remove bans on curriculum and give student groups the uninhabited right to reserve spaces on campus were both rejected by Republicans. Under Florida law, public grade schools and high schools are already prohibited from instructing on topics that would that could make someone feel personal responsibility for historic wrongdoings because of their race, sex, or national or origin. This, am I in a different timeline? The state has also banned the, the teaching of critical race theory, a legal framework that aims to understand systematic racism in the United States. Though many experts have argued it is not taught in elementary or high schools. Most recently, DeSantis uh, announced that announced the state would prohibit a new advanced placement African-American studies course from running in schools because it lacked educational value. Yo, this is actually really crazy. HB 99 is one of the first pieces of legislation to target higher education institutions and a, a seething uh, criticism, Genesis Robinson, political director of Equal Ground, accused state Republicans on Monday of trying to censor what adults can learn. Last year, during the battle to defeat HB7 and HB1557, uh, it was said that students were too young to learn about each, such topics. Robinson said, referring to two pieces of legislation, that proponents argued granted more parent parental rights in education and stepped and stopped the spread of discrimination, but opponents said limited academic freedom. Yet today you have before before you a bill that seeks to dictate what is learned at institutions of higher learning by adults, Robinson added. It just goes to show you to you that this fight was never about what is appropriate for children. It is about control. It is about censorship. It is about big government dictating who we love, what we learn, and what pronouns we use, and what books our ch children are can read. Yo, this isn't... Is this like a spoof? Like, am I reading something that's not real? Like... What? Yo, I, I did not like, I think like a lot more people need to bring attention to this. Why? I, I didn't know it was this bad or getting this bad. I, I didn't know it was getting this bad. Hey man, I, I definitely don't know about this. So, uh, this is sad. This is really sad.